மார்கழி மந்த் டே ஃபோர் திருப்பாவை பாசுரம் ஃபோர்த் ஒன் ஆடி மழை கண்ணா ஒன்று நீ கைகரவேல் ஆடி உள்புக்கு முகர்ந்து கொடார் தேரி ஊடி முதல்வன் உருவம் போல் மெய் கருத்து பாழியம் தோளுடை பற்பநாபன் கையில் ஆடி போல் மின்னி வளம் புரி போல் நின்றதந்து தாழாதே சார்ந்த முதைத்த சரமழை போல் வாழ உலகினில் பெய்திராய் நாங்களும் மார்கழி நீராட மகிழ்ந்தேலோ ரெம்பாவாய் ஸோ இந்த பாசுரம் ஸ்ரீ ஆண்டால் ரெஃபர்ஸ் த டீட்டி ஆஃப் ரெயின் அண்ட் ஷி இஸ் டெலிங் ஹிம் டு அப்சார்ப் ஆல் த வாட்டர் ஃப்ரம் த ஓஷன் அண்ட் டேக் இட் அப் ஸ்லோலி அண்ட் ஃபார்ம் திக் பிளாக் கலர் க்ளவுட்ஸ் அண்ட் த கலர் ஷுட் பி the color of lord krishna so that the clouds will be full of water and come down slowly and continuously the flow of water for the people which will enable them to grow more agricultural products so they will be flourishing so how it should be continuously is compared with the sarangam that is when lord rama sends is bow it will be continuously given if he starts with one it will be followed by more and many so that is what she says the rain should be continuous so that the agriculture product will be more so everyone will be happy and everyone will be prosperous so here in this she explains a science concept evaporation of water then condensation then precipitation so the science concept of water cycle is explained here so it shows that our vedas are much beyond the science the, the vedas have got the concepts of science within it science was discovered later so vedas are much much ahead of the science so she is calling all the gopis to do the nonbu worship the god for the good amount of rainfall and for the prosperity of the entire country today's temple is yoga rama temple at nedungunam in this temple you find rama without any sarangam without any weapons in the pasuram is a sarangam nirainda but here he is not found with any weapon so this temple is special it's a unique this temple this place is located 108 kilometers away from chennai that is from chennai to vandavasi there's a place called vandavasi which is 108 kilometers from chennai and from vandavasi should proceed to nedungunam which is nearly 27 kilometers and you can reach from tiruvannamalai 50 kilometers from tiruvannamalai and 24 kilometers from arani and this temple is very unique and this temple has got various features it's very big and old temple yoga rama temple so the raja gopuram has got that is the entrance you find the gopuram it has got five tier and immediately inside you can find another group gopuram which is called kili gopuram and here you find the main deity sri rama in sitting posture with eyes closed without any weapons and why this gopuram is called kili let's see the stala purana of this temple stala purana of this temple is sukha brahma rishi was meditating in this place to have darshan of sri rama rama accepted his penance 
he was impressed by his devotion and penance so he wanted to make sukaprama's wish come true so he on his way back from sri lanka after killing ravana he was moving to ayodhya so on the way he dropped here and he met he gave darshan to sukaprama rishi and sukaprama rishi requested sri rama to stay here with him for a day so rama was in in a hurry he had to visit ayodhya and uh, to have patabishegam and he promised bharata that he would come before certain day he didn't have time to spare but still he agreed to stay here because of his saulabhyam and sausilyam he was so kind to bhaktas so he agreed so here you find sri rama in a sitting posture with his eyes closed without having any weapons he is not found with with this kothandam only lakshmana has his kothandam so lakshmana sita and rama are here and rama keeps his hand placed on his heart in chin mutra and he listens to Ra- hanuman who is sitting just in front of him hanuman is reading out the scripture brahma sutra to rama so inside the garbha graha we see sri rama in this posture yoga ramar keeps his eyes closed with chin mutra in sitting posture listening to hanuman's reading so hanuman is in front of him when we go around the sannadhi you can see to, to certain extent the idol of anuman otherwise you cannot see him when you are in front of the sannadhi so this is very unique this is very rare posture of rama after having darshan of sri rama at garbhagraha we can have a pradakshinam around it but the pradakshinam path is very narrow and at lower level and we can have the outer pradakshinam too which is very wide and we can have views of pillared mandapam inscriptions and hills around the temple and there are so many sannadhis located on the path the sannadhis are for narasimha chakra talwar krishna kalyana srinivasan and there is a separate sannadhi for senkamal senkamalavalli tayar and vaikanasa charyar only in this temple we find sannadhi for vaikanasa charyar vaikanasa charyar is associated with vaikanasa agamam the second gopuram is called kili gopuram which is named after sukha brahma rishi sukha brahma rishi has parrot face and human body and when we go around the temple you find a hill just behind the temple and this temple is considered as sukha brahma rishi because it looks like having parrot face and human body so they consider the hill itself is sukha brahma rishi and there is an evidence of sri padam of lord rama along with changu and chakra on top of this hill this hill is called dirghachala hill so this is evidence for the visit of lord rama and he gave darshan to sukha brahma rishi here this temple was built by pallavas and later times it was expanded with pillared mandapams and halls and sculptures by krishna devaraya the sculptures depict the scenes of ramayana and dasavatara it's a feast for 
eyes. So this temple, Yoga Rama Temple, is at Nedangkonam. It's a beautiful place which is surrounded by hills and you find Kaliya River flowing on the other side of the temple. So we feel the vibration here. 